God loves you though. Okay, Everybody according Jesus to your scriptures, you. mm. Jesus who warned Jesus? You, see, see, here's the narrative, here's the narrative. You're trying to make Paul to be some Pharisee who was hunting Christians and had this epiphany on the road to Damascus and then all of a sudden become this apostle to the Gentile and all this kind of stuff. This is the picture you're The Bible says so, not we says Paul, so. No, I know. Clear. And that's why the Bible's wrong. I'll explain oh, why. Oh, I see the Bible wrong. Right. Yes, I'll explain why. So if Paul as a Pharisee is hunting Christians in Damascus with authority that there's no authority in Jerusalem to give to hunt Christians in Damascus, that's your first problem. Second problem you have, if Paul is a Pharisee, why has he got a problem with the followers of Jesus? Because it was Galamiel, the leader of the Pharisees, who petitioned for the release of the disciples of Jesus from the Sanhedrin. So why would the Pharisees petition for the release of the disciples of Jesus and then hunt them? when he could have had him killed in the Sanhedrin. Why did the Pharisees warn Jesus he was going to be arrested? See, the Bible paints the picture that the Pharisees were enemies of Jesus. Well, that's not what the scripture says. There's nothing Jesus teaches that goes against Pharisee teachings. Pharisees don't have a problem with healing on the Sabbath. Pharisees don't have a problem with someone claiming to be the Messiah. Only the Sadducees have that problem. Oh, you're saying the opposite. So you're saying the opposite. So what I'm saying to you is this. The Sadducees represented Rome. The Sadducees were Rome's bitch in Jerusalem. Yeah? They had vested interest in Rome power. Because that gave them their power. Okay. Jesus claiming to be the Messiah is claiming to bring back Davidic kingship. Jewish monarchy. The Romans abolished Jewish monarchy. If Jesus claimed to be the Messiah, He's claiming that he's going against Roman rule. If the Sadducees arrested him for this, it would be a political death of crucifixion, which is standard for Roman crucifixion for sedition. So it had to be a religious arrest. It had to be a religious crucifixion. So the authors of the Gospels switch Sadducee with Pharisee. Because the Pharisees have got no problem with Jesus. There's no Pharisee teaching that you can't heal on the Sabbath. According to the Bible, the Pharisees sought to kill Jesus because he was healing on the Sabbath. Well, it doesn't go against Pharisee teachings. So why would they do this? Why would the Pharisees have a problem with Jesus claiming to be the Messiah when they were waiting for the Messiah? It wouldn't make no sense. Why would the Pharisees warn Jesus he's going to be arrested? Why would the Pharisee petition for the release of his followers? And then Paul comes along and says he's a Pharisee and he's hunting the followers of Jesus for some kind of blasphemy. Goes against the whole narrative of the Pharisee teachings. Well, you're believing this thing to be true, and you're saying this is coming from your scripture, which is reliable, which isn't. So these are questions you need to ask. This book, we believe it 100%. It's delusional.